get into this. And you can hear the orchestra tuning up and uh, getting ready for the, uh, the emotive experience that you're going to be uh, enjoying through your PlayStation 3. Now, in the very simple terms, this is where you log in uh, with the different users, and multiple users can uh, coexist on the same uh, PlayStation 3, and with full parental control. Now, obviously, in this example, I'm the adult, and Cars and Jack are the two children of the family, and uh, obviously, uh, we would manage what uh, their consumption habits would be, uh, both in terms of content and in terms of commerce, and we'll show you how that works a little bit later on. But for now, I'm just going to dive in as myself, and uh, log in to my PlayStation 3. So here I am, the very familiar cross-media bar, which you will have seen on PSP. It's obviously being um, adopted in well over 20 million machines around the world, but also uh, in a number of Sony TVs. Uh, this kind of interface is becoming very well understood by our user base. Now, where you will start first is by creating and managing your users, and then you'll be going into your systems area. This is probably where you'll spend about 10 or 15 minutes when you first purchase your PlayStation 3 to connect the system optimally from in terms of graphics and in terms of sound, and also all of your network settings, wired or wireless, depending on uh, the technology that you have in your home. I'm not going to spend a great deal of time on this, you will discover this for yourselves, but it's very intuitive, it's very simple, very empowering for the users to get the most out of their system. Where you're going to spend most of your time, however, is over here to the right, which is the cross-media bar icons that we are familiar with. The first of which being the photo area. Now, because of the uh, USB functionality of PlayStation 3 and also the card reader functionality of the machine, we can have PlayStation 3 be the repository of all of our digital photography in one place. And I just want to show you how this works in, in reality. I can sort my images de depending on uh, different functionality and I can just jump in and I can sh show here very high res photographs. By the way, when you have 1080 or HD panel in your home, this is the only way you'll ever want to share photographs with your friends again. It's an incredible uh, way to socialize the photography experience and uh, to share uh, with uh, people in your home. Now, I can just flick between pictures. Here we've got some screenshots from our upcoming PlayStation 3 games. And uh, you can see that yeah, fairly quickly I can move through this. Um, uh, but that's not particularly next generation. We want to show this in a bit more of a next gen way. And by a simple press of the button, I can launch into a photo album. And now I'm combining the power of cell and the power of RSX and the metadata of my photographs to render these in a very rich media way. So he, here we have my photographs uh, being rendered in real time. I can move left, I can move right, I can zoom in. And you can um, see also that the metadata relating to when the photograph is taken is being written into the environment as well. This is one of many photo functionalities that we will have for PlayStation 3 over the years. And this is something which um, is uh, really uh, an indication of the, the living and breathing nature of PlayStation 3. Just like PSP, the operating system will be upgraded over time um, and additional functionality will be added over time. Next up, music. This is where your CD audio, uh, SACD audio and other uh, audio discs containing MP3s, etc. will be found. Um, this is also where you can rip and manage your downloaded music or your ripped music from your discs. And so here we have uh, Beyonce track. I can just dive in and I can uh, uh, listen to the song and I can also see the uh, 3D uh, visualizer which is the standard part of the PlayStation 3. Once again, something that will grow and expand and evolve over time. So, um, then moving next up is the video icon. Now, this is a really powerful indication of what Cell and PlayStation 3 can do. All of my video clip thumbnails are running in real time on the PlayStation 3 uh, cross-media bar. And I've got trailers for games which I've downloaded, and we'll show you how we get them into uh, the machine in a, in a little while. Um, but also, I've got some trailers for movies in full 1080p HD. So let's have a quick uh, dive into the Spider-Man trailer here.
Very cool, but I know some of you may have seen that trailer, but you probably haven't seen the trailer for Casino Royale, which is launching the same day as PlayStation 3 in North America. Yeah. Your file shares no kills. But to become a double O, it takes two. How did you die? Your contact? Not well. You need money. The second is... Yes. Considerably. The man was his chief. Private banker to the world terrorists. Which would explain how he could set up a high-stakes poker game at Casino Royale in Montenegro. Okay, so I think uh, we'll come back to that trailer a little bit later on. But the fact that all this stuff is in your hard drive, you can dive straight into it, you can dive straight out again. It's a really powerful indication of what PlayStation 3 is capable of. And the, uh, uh, over time, this will obviously grow. You'll have much more content in there. But this is a really integrated way of managing your media. Games is obviously where you're going to uh, be seeing your PlayStation 3 game discs appear. This is where your PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 backwards compatibility discs will appear. And this is obviously where your downloaded content will appear. But I will come back to that in one second. But I'm going to go over here to uh, the uh, network functionality of PlayStation 3. And this is where I can manage my friends, where I can manage my presence online. And all of this is built into every PlayStation 3 free of charge as standard. And all games use this functionality um, as the presence and the messaging that you get within the games um, is all standard. So this allows me to see um, the fact that I've got lots of friends, which is uh, very reassuring, and that I can go in and see that some of them are online and that I can uh, jump in and I can uh, get uh, messages sent to them. Um, this was a message, uh, oh yeah, did I see the new Bond movie trip on the store? And I can uh, go in and I can bring up our uh, software uh, keyboard interface, which um, allows you to uh, use predictive text, which uh, is a very powerful way of um, typing in uh, what you want to say, but obviously you can also use a USB keyboard plugged in straight away, standard functionality uh, for PlayStation 3 as you would expect. Um, so uh, there we go, I've sent that message and I'm sure we'll get a reply from him a little bit later on. Now, um, this is where you will also uh, manage the players that you meet inside online games. They will appear here. You can then decide whether you want to add them to your friends list. You can also manage whether you want to ban certain people from your friends list. The full online presence um, starts here. And this is from where you will also do AV chat. This is where you will handle text and voice chat as well. Um, but let's go into the network functionality and I can see an icon there that might be piquing your interest that says Internet Browser. PlayStation 3, free of charge, out of the box, includes a fully functioning web browser. And this also uh, uses some of the functionality of Cell to a really interesting way. One of the cool ways is my ability to add into um, my uh, uh, environment multiple uh, windows um, at the same time and once I've got these multiple windows up please welcome Carlos Parai oh, I wonder what's going on the PlayStation DNA is real change and the consumer so here we have YouTube running uh, in <laughs> multiple <laughs> panels something that somebody put from our press conference uh, a while ago but anyway <laughs> as you would expect 